All right, we're gonna start here. We got the uh, half a beer barrel that everybody uses for chicken plucking water. We got 18 broilers that we let get too big and three turkeys. Need to make it to the freezer. The primary purpose of this video is what's coming up here. We're gonna get out our homemade chicken plucker. Give you guys a good overview of that. There's plenty of uh, poultry butchering videos in the world. It's not uh, exactly what my I'll give you. I'll give you the process here, but so we got the water heating and we got to go fish the plucker out. Then I'll give you a good run through on that plucker. Okay, so here's the uh, run through on our homemade tub plucker. We call this the Liberty Model 1 from the Laurentian Manufacturing Company. It's a Liberty model because it was born, uh, built on the 4th of July. 2003, 2004, I can't remember exactly. My friend Preston helped me build this. This is a, we did it at my uncle's shop uh, back in Michigan. So, there's 122 rubber fingers in there. You can, you can order a book. I think you can still order the book, How to Build a Homemade Tub Plucker, or Homemade Chicken Plucker, whatever the deal is. And they got plans, and we didn't follow the plans, but you can also order the finger kit for it. So, in the bottom, that the bottom of this is a half inch thick piece of UHMW which I just happen to have laying around from I don't know uh, the tub is off obviously a plastic barrel top and bottom cut off cut down to the right size um, and I mean then all of these the, the fingers are just you drill a hole the right size, pull them through, they just lock there. I mean, these are, like I said, this thing's 20 years old. Um, you know, we're getting a little, looks like a rake tooth getting a little bit of, a little bit of cracking in them already from 20 years. But last year, this thing got used two days for us to butcher broilers and my friend Preston, who lives around here too. Um, he did his broilers with it so it got used two days last year the frame two by six red pine the switch yeah, that's pretty obvious uh, here's a one horse conveyor that came off of a it was like a flighted feed conveyor which I wish I had but that went with the tank uh, when my dad sold a grain tank the elevator went with it but uh we were using this for something else at the time so originally we had it so you tension the belt by wedging out that that's why this hinges on it you just tension the belt well it flipped belts every two chickens so that kind of that kind of sucked so from cousin eric here at one point or another we got some kind of antique uh, tensioner pulley which by the way is uh, sitting on a piece of half inch water pipe half inch black pipe the axle let's see I don't know if you can see so screwed to the UHMW all that is is a floor flange half inch pipe uh, the bearing you see the bearing there that's a white UHMW Piece that that goes through same thing down here I mean it, it ain't gonna ever wear out for the, as much as this thing gets used but it sure beats pluck in my hand and uh, I could change the gear ratio uh, we wanted this thing to pluck chickens like that afternoon we decided that was a good thing to do so that we whipped this thing like I said we whipped this thing together in one morning um, I didn't have a pulley that would work uh, that is I think that might be a piece of treated plywood I'm not I don't remember for sure but 
we made a V-belt pulley on my uncle's table saw. Made a little jig so we could turn it round and uh, flip the blade. Spend more time building the jig to make it than it took to make it, but it's still holding up. We'll see. It shouldn't blow apart today. I'm just going to stick a steel pulley on it someday to that floor flange if I have to, but it goes all right. Um, does a whole lot better job than doing it by hand. <laughs> you break a wing or something every now and then, but it is what it is. I just use it for ours, so I used to do some for some other people. Uh, me and Gina processed stock trailer full of 50 turkeys for a guy one time one day let's put it this way i didn't charge enough i mean honestly it wasn't a bad day's wage but it was an awful lot of work for the money we made let's put it that way so switch goes on blocker runs These are big, we're just gonna do one at a time. When we do smaller ones, like three, four pounds, you can throw a couple of them in there. They kind of help knock each other around. Um, see how my help is getting along dispatching the chickens. We're getting in the neighborhood of a buck 50 here. So I'm gonna turn this down. That's where I like to start at. I'm turning that up. Okay pretty long clip we'll get this going I don't really know how much what else we're gonna do with this but I want to give you a good walk through on a plucker I suppose I could put a chicken in there and you could at least see it running a chicken all right so this is gonna be interested interesting one-handed so I got one scalded chicken here in we go Sometimes you get a couple of tail feathers like that. There you go. Clean chicken. So, Maddie threw one of these on a scale. The biggest one goes 12 pounds. So, got two done. 16 more to go. I'll get pluck in there, but you see how it works. It's a pretty slick setup. All right, so I refreshed my water to do them three turkeys. Oh, Maddie ran off of my chicken. It's gonna show you the chickens. The wrap them in the, uh, Gina's leaving with the shrink wrap. Big roll of food service shrink wrap. You just go around and around, flip them 90 degrees, go around and around. I should get some of those uh, chicken bags, hit them with the heat gun, but I never do. We've been doing it for years with the shrink wrap, and honestly, you can have a turkey in the freezer for two years and they won't freeze or burn. You put enough wrap on them, yeah, it works. It's not really that expensive of a way to do it. And the storage works great, so. Okay, I don't know, it's gonna be like impossible to film unless I get somebody to home that hold this camera trying to do a turkey in that tub. We'll see what we come back with here. I don't know for sure. All right, so there's the last turkey Maddie's got to bring to the freezer. I don't know, that's probably... Yeah, it's bigger than six, 15 pounds, 16, 17, I don't know. About what they should be. I grow them a little bigger than a 10, 12 pound store turkey, but... Biggest one I ever had dressed weight like that was 41 pounds, and that was insane. So... Plenty big for Thanksgiving and other things. Actually had one left from the last batch of turkeys. It's thawing right now. We're going to have big turkey dinner tomorrow. All right, well, there's a little homemade plucker business and a little bit on bird butchering. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.